All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is a little tutorial on how I hardwired an aux cable into what was previously my tape deck in my 1998 Honda CRV. Um, I looked kind of far and wide to try and find this information, and I kind of pieced it together from multiple sources. So I figured I'd make a quick video for you guys on what I did, how I did it. Um, so there's already a bunch of videos on how to remove a stereo, and I'll link you to one of those videos on how to remove the Honda CRV stereo. It's pretty time consuming if you haven't done it before, especially. Uh, I'll just jump right to the part that you're looking for, and that is the wiring uh, of the actual process. Um, so you have, this is obviously the tape deck right here, and this is the little, I think it's like an eight pin connector that jumps from the tape deck up to your CD player right there and plugs in there. I tried to open up the CD player and find out, you know, the circuit board configuration to hardwire to that. I tried to open up this and find, you know, hardwire to the circuit board in there. Both were too difficult. So I found a schematic online, not a schematic, but a pinout online. And I'll post a video to it, uh, to the pinout uh, uh, for this. And so what I did is I kind of just spliced open the cable very carefully. And if yours is a 98, like, Mine is, I'm sure the cable is kind of brittle, so it didn't really take much to cut open into it. But the three you're looking for is the, um, in here is the black, the yellow, and the blue, which is what I had. Um, and if you want to, you can take your uh, tape deck out, actually open the top. The top opens pretty easy, and you can verify the pinout that I put up on the screen a second ago. But again, here is the uh, pinout that worked for me. I tested this just now inside my car with some little you know, alligator clips to make sure it all worked. I hard wired it to a, temporarily wired it rather to a little aux cable, you know, that I had have set up there. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, get some heat shrink, some solder. I'm gonna solder these onto my donor, oops, my donor aux cable that I have here. Um, and again, the only reason I'm doing this is just because the right channel actually went out uh, on the tape deck reader. So I wanted to get that channel back and I figured, you know, rather than do anything else or buy a new radio, I'm just going to be cheap and, and hardwire it myself. Anyways, I'm going to solder this up and I'll be right back with you and show you what I did. Okay, quick little challenging bit for me was, um, you've got this like copper that's surrounding the colored cables that you're looking for and it's actually hard to see what color is what. To try and get them out of there, you kind of got to push the copper together and then it'll expose the color. It was hard to get the cables actually out of there, so what I did is once I could see the color, I just just cut each cable and then kind of I pushed, you can see I kind of pushed the wire, the copper wire protecting it back down on there. Uh, now here I am soldered up, and it just so happens that on my donor aux cable here, the um, the red cable is actually a left channel, and the white cable is actually right channel, which unintuitive to me. I would have done it the other way, but whatever. Um, and then here's my ground wired up to the ground that I have there. So I'm going to throw some heat shrink down over this and uh, e-tape it all up, put it back together. Okay, cool. So I've got the uh, aux cable wired in. I routed it through the front how I wanted to. It's kind of going into a little hole I drilled right there. You can route it however you want, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's all done up, I said, um, and I'll, again, remember this uh, modification doesn't work unless you actually have a tape in the tape deck and it's actually playing. Um, so the, one of those little uh, tape deck to aux cord adapters are actually kind of handy because those play infinitely. Um, but here is the little cable we're talking about again, and there's the little pin out that I drew. Those other pins don't really matter. I don't know, I'm sure what they do, but this is the uh, schematic I went off of and I'll put up the video again, or the picture again of the pin out, but I'll show you closely here that um, they're calling this bottom center pin right there, calling that pin two. The one to the left of that, uh, they're calling that pin four, um, or right audio, and the one to the right of that, they're calling that pin 5, which is uh, your left audio signal. Anyways, after that's there, you just plug it back in. 
uh, and uh, go test it out. Hopefully this works for somebody. Uh, yeah.